A court in Assam state demanded that police lodge a complaint against senior BJP leader and chief minister Himanta Biswa Sarma over his claims that a violent eviction drive in a majority Muslim village where two people were killed was an act of revenge. Just days after voting Hindu supremacist Yogi Adityanath back into power as chief minister of Uttar Pradesh state, members of the Hindu extremist group Hindu Yuva Vahini called for loudspeakers to be removed from mosques and Muslim-owned businesses to be shut down. At least 89 instances of hate crimes and hate speech occurred across six Indian states since October 2021, according to a hate speech tracker run by Indian news outlet The Wire. BJP leaders contributed to 20% of incidents which included calls for genocide, mob lynchings and other forms of hate. Public TV anchor Arun Barigar gave an anti-Muslim hate speech on live television claiming that Hindus have tolerated Muslims in India. His claims that Muslims have been given privileges over Hindus and pose a threat to Hindu women were hateful rather than factual. International watchdog organization Civicus added India to its watch list of countries that have seen a rapid decline in civic freedoms due to the drastic measures taken by Modi and the BJP to stifle dissent. India is categorized as a repressed state by the organization. 21 European MPs slammed Prime Minister Modi and the BJP in a letter expressing serious concerns about the treatment of human rights activists in India. The MPs called upon Indian authorities to immediately release all human rights defenders detained under draconian anti-terror laws. A pair of Hindu extremists barged into a college in Karnataka state and forced hijabi students to leave the campus in the presence of school staff. Despite video proof of the extremists physically threatening students, no charges have been pressed against them. Hijab-wearing students in Karnataka state continue to be barred from entering schools and exam halls, putting their futures at risk. Despite holding protests demanding their constitutional right to freedom of religion, the students continue to face harassment in schools across the state.